CGS and MKS system are also called metric or decimal system. Why these are called metric or decimal system? Because multiples and sub multiples of basic units are related by parts of 10. Right? Means, for example, if we are talking about 1 meter, here meter is the MKS system, representing the MKS system. This could be written as 10 raised to power 2 centimeter. It means meter can be represented in the powers of 10 in the CGS system of units. So that is why these are called metric or decimal number system. Now let us just talk about the drawback of CGS system. Actually the CGS system is having not a convenient size to express any measurement. For example, if we are talking about the distance for example, uh, let the distance of Delhi from here is suppose 200 kilometer, right? In this case, this kilometer is a convenient unit, but to represent in CGS system, we will write it as 200 into 10 raised to power 3 for kilometer and 10 raised to power 2 for meter and then centimeter. So it becomes 2 into 10 raised to power 5 into 7 centimeter. So the size is un inconvenient to express. So rather we use meter or kilometer for the length. So this is one of the drawback that we usually don't write the units in the CGS system because in that case the calculation becomes so clumsy. So whenever you are doing numericals, firstly you have to convert all CGS system into MKS system to create the simplicity in the numericals. And this is the actually the advantage of MKS system because MKS system is having a convenient size which is practically, which can be practically used. And also MKS system leads to electrical unit, electrical units for example. Uh, for current which is considered to be the fundamental quantity and for this the unit is ampere in MKS system. Similarly charge which is another fundamental quantity for this the unit is coulomb. So this these are the advantages of MKS system over the CGS system.